Some of the warmest tributes to Whitney Houston have come from other artists who work with her. Diane Warren has been named Songwriter of the Year 10 times by Billboard and ASCAP. She wrote seven songs for Whitney Houston, including the one you just heard, Could I Have This Kiss Forever? And Diane Warren joins us here at the Four Seasons, our set at the Four Seasons. Thank you, Diane. Listen, this is... Thank you, Diane. Hello, hello. Thank you, Ken. I know, you were up all night, too, so yeah. <laughs> believe, me, believe me, I understand. I think we both have been, right? We really have. I wish I was up I, having fun. I was up not being able to sleep. But this is the thing. I heard a sentence yesterday that stopped me cold for the first time. It said, the body of Whitney Houston is in the Los Angeles morgue. Oh. They may perform the autopsy later today. And just when I hear oh. the words, the body of Whitney Houston I know. in the morgue, how are you processing it as someone I, who knew her? It's... I don't think I've processed it yet. I mean, yesterday morning when it showed footage of the, of the coroner, the, the truck driving away, that's when, I, that's when I started crying. It's like, uh -huh. that's when it was real, you know? And it's, it was like, wow. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's, it's, it's so surreal, the whole thing. It's just, it really is. Even on this weekend. And, and it really is. It, and the timing of it. And I remember when, the, when her comeback album was coming out, yeah. and you wrote the song, I Didn't Know My Own Strength. The yeah. first time I heard it, and it's raw for her form, it made the hairs on the back of my neck. It literally gave me goosebumps because I thought yeah. the lyrics were so perfect for her. We'll run a clip of that, and then I want to talk to you about okay. what you were thinking when okay. you wrote this for Whitney. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought we had the clip of it. Sorry. Oh, you know the clip. But 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 tell you can us. sing it. You know, <laughs> no, I, I won't do that to you. I, won't and I certainly won't <laughs> I don't do know that to her. Which is but, worse. But you what were you it. thinking when you wrote that song? I, Say a couple of the lyrics um, about what you were thinking. You know, and I crashed down and I and I tum tumbled. Got tumbled, but I did not crumble. Yeah. I got through all the pain. I didn't know my own strength. Science, Survived yes. my darkest hour. My faith kept me alive. Wait, mm -hmm. is that it? Um, I, um, yes. I was not built to break. I didn't yes. know my own strength. That yes. was the. You know, I mean and. You know, I really wrote that song for her. A lot of times I write a song, and I'm not writing for a particular artist. I'm just trying to write a great song. That song, I really wanted to write her comeback mm -hmm. statement, her comeback song. And because did you believe that she was coming back and that she was OK? Listen, yeah. we're still waiting for the results. We don't know the official cause of death, but there was a lot of speculation <sighs> that there might have been drug use. Did you yeah. really think that she was done and that she was fine? Did I you? did. I really did. Yeah. And from everything I heard and, and... Yeah, me too. You know, I really thought she really, you know, got through it all and, and, and you know, um, got to the other side of it, and that's what, what I wrote the song about. Mm -hmm. And I really, I, I'd had that title first, and I didn't write the song. And when I, when I knew she was making her comeback record, and she was okay, I go, okay, I'm, I'm going to write that. I didn't know my own strength uh -huh. song for Whitney, and I, I was just so careful with it. And, and you know, and I heard her in my head. I, I mean, no, everything. I know. The you know, words. and I'm singing it, and, and, and you know, sounding horrible, but I'm hearing her and just singing it and hitting those notes, and then wondering, um, you know, because she she damaged her voice a bit. You know, I was wondering like. You know, will she be hit, able to do will it? Will she be able to? You know, T.D. Jake said something very interesting. Uh, a, a bishop from Atlanta said, people for Whitney Houston loved her and supported her for her music and her misery, that we cheered mm. her on, you know, right. because we so wanted her to be okay. Right. What can you say about both, her music and her misery? I mean, you know, a lot of great artists are really troubled souls, aren't they? I mean, I mean, but musically, her legacy and her work speaks for itself. It'll it'll stand the test of time forever. It'll it'll. She influenced every singer that we know. Modern singer has been influenced by Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm, you know, whether mm -hmm. it's Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. Celine, and they will say that. Yeah, the Mariah. And they, they all will say they that. all they all got it from Whitney. You know. And so, I mean, her music will live live on forever. No one will. I mean, I, I saw it when I was staying awake all night, not sleeping. I was watching her perform the national anthem. Yes. And, yes. You know, no, come I, on. Listen, <laughs> and everybody has a favorite Whitney Houston song, and we're all yeah. playing them today. Diane, thank you so much for thank coming you. and extending the night. I know it's been a long night. I really, <laughs> yes. really appreciate it. No, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.